Hi and thank you for joining me for the lace flower crochet stitch tutorial. You can also find the full written instruction and a diagram for this chart on my blog made by Guti. For this tutorial I'm going to use a 3.5 crochet hook, I love the tulip hooks, and a cotton yarn, a fingering cotton yarn. You can use whatever yarn and hook you'd like for this stitch and customize it to be as big as you'd like. This stitch is a repetition of eight stitches and to start your stitch you need to create a multiple of eight chains plus two chains at the end. So let's start. So for my tutorial I'm going to chain 16 plus two chains. So I will have a total of 18 chains. Okay, so the first row, as you can see, is a row of single crochet. It creates a, a nicer edge at the bottom. So, walk one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. I like to walk my stitches into the middle loop of the chains. If we have the front and the back loop, so the loop that is behind the back loop is the middle loop and it creates a really nice edge. So let's start, work one single crochet. And then work one single crochet in each of the chains until the end of the row. Okay, so I finished row one, let's, so let's continue to row two turn your walk and start by chaining one. The chain one in this pattern doesn't count as a stitch and we will walk one single crochet into the first single crochet of the row. And now we will skip three stitches and walk our first flower stitch into the next stitch. The flower stitch consists of one path, chain two, a second path, another chain two, and a third path, all worked into the same stitch. So we actually have three paths that are separated by chain two spaces, worked into the same stitch. Um, again, I'm working with a US terminology. So let's start by skipping the next three stitches and working our puff stitch here. So we are yarning over, insert the hook into the indicated stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we yarn over again, insert the hook again and pull the yarn through. And for the third time, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops and this is our puff stitch. Now we will chain two and work another puff stitch into the same stitch. So again, this is a three repetition puff stitch that creates seven loops on the hook. We are yarning over and pull the yarn through all seven loops. Now we have another chain two and our third puff stitch. So this is our flower. And now we will chain one, skip the next three stitches, and walk one single crochet into the next stitch. So that was our stitch repetition and we will repeat it one more time. So we are chaining one, skipping the next three stitches and walking a flower stitch into the next stitch. Chain two, 
then a second puff stitch chain into again and a third puff stitch So this is the flower stitch and now we will chain one, skip the next three stitches and walk a single crochet into the last stitch. So this is the repetition for row two. Now turn your work for row 3 and we will start by chaining 3. The chain 3 does count as one double crochet and we will work another one double crochet into the first single crochet of the row. Now we will chain two. This is the start of the repetition. We are chaining two. We are skipping the first puff and the next chain one space. And we will walk one single crochet into the top of the middle puff stitch, which is this stitch. Now we will chain two again and skip the next puff stitch and the chain two space and walk three double crochet stitches into the single crochet stitch. And then we will chain two again and walk a single crochet into the middle puff of the flower. So just repeat this row, this row by walking three double crochet stitches into the chain, in, into the single crochet stitch and a single crochet into the top of the middle puff and all are separated by chain two spaces. And when you get to the end of the row, chain two and walk two double crochet into the last single crochet stitch. So this is for row three. Okay, turn your work for row 4 and chain 2. Now walk one half double crochet into the first double crochet stitch. This will resemble kind of a puff stitch, a side puff. And now we will chain 2 and walk another puff stitch into the same double crochet stitch. So we created kind of a half flower and now we will chain one, skip the next chain two space and walk one single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. And now we will start the repeat section. So we are chaining one, skipping the chain two and the next double crochet stitch and we will walk a flower stitch into the middle double crochet stitch. So walk one puff stitch, chain two, a second puff stitch, and another chain two and a third puff stitch. Now chain one, Skip the chain two space and walk a single crochet into the next 
single crochet stitch. So this is the stitch repetition. And when you reach the end of the row, chain one again, walk one puff stitch into the top of the chain three. And now chain two and walk one double crochet into the same top of the chain of the chain three to create another half flower. This will create a smoother edge. So this is row four. Let's continue to row five. Turn your walk. Chain one again and walk one single crochet into the first double crochet stitch. And now we will start our repetition. We are chaining two, skipping the puff stitch and the chain two space, and walking three double crochet into the single crochet stitch. Now chain two again, skip the first path and the chain two space and walk a single crochet into the top of the path stitch. This is the top of the path. And now repeat, we are chaining two, three double crochet into the single crochet stitch. Now chain two again, and at the end of the row you will walk one single crochet into the top of the half double crochet stitch you made. Okay, and we are moving on to the last row, row six. So we are chaining one. Walking one single crochet into the first single crochet stitch. And we are starting the repetition by chaining one, skipping the chain two space and the first double crochet, and walking a flower, a flower stitch into the middle double crochet stitch. Now chain one again and walk a single crochet into the next single crochet stitch and repeat by chaining one, walking a flower stitch into the middle double crochet stitch. Chain one again and walk a single crochet into the last single crochet stitch. So this is it. To repeat this stitch, just repeat rows three to six as long as you like. And that's it. You can find again all the written instructions and the diagram for this stitch in my blog made by Guti. I will link everything below. Thank you so much.